what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here this is going to be my video talking about why i think buffy has remained relevant for so many years despite almost being off the air for nearly 20 years why it means so much to not only myself but millions of people around the world why is it embedded in pop culture the way that it is and just why this show is so good because it is one of the best tv series to ever be created it is probably one of the best supernatural shows you could ever watch um and honestly, as an adult now, because I started watching Buffy towards the tail end of it, I caught the last half of season six, and then I watched all of season seven in real time. I still remember to this day the series finale being shown back in May of 2003. Uh, it's just a very special show. It means so much to a lot of people, myself included. It has a lot to say about life. It is, it's honestly just like very poetic, and it's very uh therapeutic in a way to watch this as an adult for someone who once you if you're someone who got into buffy like at a very young age like myself i can honestly tell you you probably know exactly what i mean watching the show as an adult it means so much more you catch on to so many other things so many other themes so you catch on and you just realize how special and what they're trying to say it's like it's clicking now it's just so artistic and very I don't I, I want to say beautiful in a way it's just very how much this show has to say about life and how it touches on almost everything you could possibly go through and endure in life it's just very uh satisfying to watch and you have these interesting characters you know we have willow buffy cordelia xander cordelia doesn't stick around from all of the series she leaves after season three but we have giles we get introduced to spike you know we have angel one of buffy's many love interests throughout the show we have Tara, who shares the first openly gay relationship on on TV, I think, with uh, Willow later on. So there's been a lot of firsts that have come out of this show. I think Buffy was also the first series to use Google in it. Buffy's paved the way for a lot of things that we see on television today. And it's just like a lot of people don't understand that because they probably shun the show because it's old. They don't really understand that a lot of the stuff that happened in this series is why you see it now in a lot of the things that are on TV today. But just to talk about some of the stuff that makes Buffy so important and mean and meaningful is how, again, just all this stuff has to say about life. It touches on loss. It touches on responsibility. It touches on what it means to be an adult. It touches on what it means to be in high school and feel out of place. Uh, it touches on learning from your mistakes and taking on responsibility, even though you may not want to. It's just it touches on losing a parent. Because we know we have a, a something that occurs in season five. I don't want to really get into too many spoilers. If you're someone who isn't that familiar with the series, there's so many things that you can learn from this show. It's very beautiful to watch if you're someone who watched it at a young age and then to go back and rewatch it as an adult, as I do all the time. I rewatch this show so many times. I think I've rewatched this show and seen it in its entirety probably eight or ten times at this point in my life. Um, I've seen certain episodes over 20 times. There's so much that can be studied. Every character in this in this series that sticks around, you find something to love about them. And what I like about Buffy is how it just shows all these different layers. There's different layers to people. People aren't just it humanizes these characters. It, it doesn't make them out to be some of the best people in the world. All of them have their flaws, some more flawed than others. Some go down a very dark path only to then learn from their mistakes and we get to see them grow and we get to root for them again as we already were when they were even going down that dark path that they were going down it's just the way this series is handled and how everything plays out it's very satisfying to watch it keeps your attention stop from start to finish almost every season is just upping the ante it does start to get a bit stale towards the tail end but the villains and the way they represent certain certain elements and metaphors and themes throughout the series all brilliant, brilliantly handled. Uh, Sarah Michelle Gale, of course, she's the star of the show Buffy Summers, this young woman who has been chosen to protect the world out of this. She's the most recent to be chosen out of this long lineage of women who have been chosen to protect the world from supernatural threats. They're known as vampire slayers or just slayers for short. Um, she doesn't start off wanting to do this. She's very much hesitant. She's 16 years old when we first meet her. She wants nothing to do with this. She wants to be carefree. She wants to talk about boys. She wants to go on dates. She wants to graduate. She wants to just live and be a normal girl. 
but she can't do that and that that her her responsibilities as being the slayer and how that kind of is just like a message to the people watching and just a theme or oh, one of the biggest themes in the show that you know certain things in life you you don't want to do them but you might have no other choice you have to be willing to be be very selfless at times and sacrifice what you enjoy doing and sacrifice what might make you feel good to make millions of people around the world feel good or just do what's best for everyone else and put yourself don't always put yourself uh first don't be selfish it's, it's like a very big lesson of not being selfish because at times it can seem like she's selfish but she learns to accept her duties and she's not alone in the end she she learns and she grows and she has these friends that are there with her buffy the vampire slayer is just not a show that i think many people should go through life without watching i think everyone should watch this at least once in your lifetime you don't have to think it's the best show ever when you're done with it but how anyone can sit down and watch this show and not honor not not honor but res not respect what it's what it's trying to do and everything that it stands for it's hard for me to see how anyone could watch this show and not come out on the other side saying you know what i might not be the biggest fan i might not rewatch this again but they this this series has a lot of highs in it it has more highs than lows towards the end it does start to get to be, get a bit stale but that series finale is really really a kicker and it's a big payoff for everything that you will endure for the seven seasons that this show lasted buffy the vampire slayer is an amazing show i cannot wait to get into doing my reviews can't wait to talk about the characters in it let me know what you guys think about this show down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification that you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future what is your favorite buffy the vampire slayer episode are you excited for my reviews with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video